Oh, this must be the supervisor. Woohoo! When we got out here, we saw your son matching with multiple people matching descriptions of people who had already began to flee the home while we were dispatched out here. So we got out with your son. We're just going to collect his information, and we need somebody of a guardian consent or yourself to come out here and take him off, okay? So that way we know we're really going to need to take you don't come in the yard. Right. Don't come in the yard. Why do police go for low-hanging fruit? Is it because their job incentivizes quotas on arrests and citations? Or can it be that they would rather mess with someone than actually fight crime? Probably all of the above in my opinion. Welcome back to my channel folks and get ready for another video of someone getting their first amendment rights violated. This video is coming to us from the channel Joe Rivera and it's taking place in Warner Robins, Georgia. A couple of weeks ago this man was at his house going about his day when he looks out to his front yard and sees two Warner Robins police officers talking to what looks like a teenager. Without much hesitation, Joe grabs his phone and steps out to record these officers. While doing so, he tries to inform the kid of his rights, and let's just say these officers don't appreciate him educating this kid. Hey, sir. Stop. Hey, don't care. Doing? Doesn't matter. I know asking. you guys. I'm just asking. I know you guys. Okay. I know what y'all are, too. Y'all got his child hemmed up in the road trying to scare him. Y'all need to let him go. Okay. His parents are not here. You need to let him go. No, no, y'all. You don't need to contact them. Y'all ain't got nothing on that kid. Leave him alone. Hey, take his card and walk away. Take his card and walk away. Tell you what, son. Just just walk up here in the yard. They can't follow you. Now, if you're going to help them put you in jail, I shouldn't even have, stand here with you, man. We're not putting him in jail, man. We're making his mom come get him. Wow. Well, That's what we're doing. He can come right here, and his mom can come get him right here. You're not charging him. You're not charging him. Oh, that's bullshit, and you know it, buddy. Yeah, just try to exercise control over the child. You got no reason to talk to him. <laughs> He's not under arrest. You ain't gotta release him to shit, buddy. He's not being held. How you gotta release him? Put your hands on him, I'll get both your badges. Not a fucking game. Always running around fucking with kids. All you gotta do is walk right over here on private property, man. <laughs> They're lying to you, dog. They're lying to you. They're lying to you. Oh, uh, here, here comes the cop explaining. Here comes the cop explaining. If he if he could do anything, tell me to shut up. You can't, and you can't hold him either. So you just stop kids anywhere and just take them to their guardians now. You're the fucking guardian police. <laughs> Make sure to get their names and badge numbers, son. 
Get the cards. Warner Robins Police Department doesn't have individual cards. Hi, my name is Officer Hall. My badge number is 4182. Thank you. Okay. You've been a lot more professional than fucking asshole there. Okay. He's got an attitude problem. I mean, he beats his fucking wife. Do me a favor, man. I'm, I'm not doing a favor for nobody, buddy. I'm not doing you any favors, bruh. I'm doing this kid a favor. I'm keeping y'all's hands off this kid. That's what I'm doing. You be mad if you want. Oh, you got you can get in your car and leave. We got dispatched. It doesn't matter. Call doesn't mean he did shit. He did not admit nothing. Leave the child alone. He can walk home without your help. Yeah, leave. Yep. All they can do is leave, man. They're just BSing you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Call means nothing. Where's your witness, bro? Where's your complaint? So this guy is basically exercising his right to free speech and his right to free press. In Georgia, obstruction is defined by OCGA 16-10-24, a person who knowingly and willfully obstructs or hinders any law enforcement officer in the lawful discharge of his or her official duties shall be guilty of a misdemeanor. With that being said, we all know speech cannot be construed as obstruction. That is backed by the Supreme Court case of Houston v. Hill. The reason I'm bringing this up is because the officers keep telling this guy to stand back and trying to get him to stop talking. It is the job of the public servant to remain disciplined and not be distracted while in the course of his or her duty. He has a right to uh, address his... Uh... That would be in court, sir. No, no. He, he, he can do it here, bro. Um, yeah, man. You can handle it all right here. Where they at? <laughs> He's not going to talk to you, so you don't know. Nothing's going on. Mad as hell, ain't you, bro? <laughs> What's your name and badge number? Attitude. You want to come over and fucking fight me, don't you? No. Don't give him your information. You can't hold him. You can't hold him. Leave the boy alone. <laughs> so this ain't America no more. This kid can't walk down the street. What's that name and badge number, Mr. Attitude? 4251. Yeah, name? It goes with the badge number when you look it up. Okay, so you're a fucking smart ass. Yeah, public servant smart ass. Yeah, you ain't used to people talking back to you, are you? People knowing what they're talking about. You need to leave the child alone and let him walk away. Try to exercise control on a little kid. Don't don't hand him your stuff. Yeah, don't hand him your stuff. <laughs> oh, he's fine. He can step right on over here all he wants, buddy. Yeah, you 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 can come over here all you want, buddy. And once you step across that line, now now they can't bother you. Well, since he has my property, I can come retrieve that. Wow. Um, Go ahead and do that. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, so, I don't put up with bull. Yeah, I'd hand him his phone back and tell him to kiss his ass. You're in the yard now. Oh, I promise you, I'm helping. You'd be in the car if I wasn't here. Well, I'm gonna make sure of that. I don't give. Shut up. Don't give me directives. Right, I'm, I'm way smarter directives. than you. Don't shut up. Me why I, don't I don't care. I don't care. I don't care why you're dispatched. Doesn't matter to me. Does. You stopped a child walking down the street that is a minor. That doesn't mean anything. Don't have your lights running or nothing. Where is the goddamn witness? I don't give a. Okay. You're not putting this kid in the car. Right. Not with me standing here, buddy. We're gonna. You are not allowed to touch my property. If you touch my property, I'll consider it that. Okay. I don't. I don't give that? a first right. shit about your property, brother. You can have your phone right now, man. I don't give a shit about your cop explaining deal. I'll talk the whole time. You do. You don't matter to me at all. It doesn't matter. Don't they ever even try to talk to me about your BS complaint? I don't care what you have to say. La 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 la. I don't care what you say. La la la. It's not. You're not getting any headway with me, brother. I don't care. 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 When's the last time you slammed an old lady? Never. Beat the shit out of your wife. Kick your fucking dog. Beat your kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you guys are. Y'all are. Every one of you. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's the last time you slammed somebody's head in the side of the car. Never. Yeah, I'm sure. I know this guy has. Look at his face. He's so mad. Come over and hit me, dog. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you calling that RBF? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he really does. Man. Well, well, you fit the part. There you go. Like I said, we just need to get a parent over here so that we can get mm -hmm. over here. You don't need a parent to get over here. You just need to leave this child alone. Can you talk to me? All right, cool. We can talk to her. That's not a problem. Oh, is she on here still? Or did she hang up? Because it doesn't say that I'm on a call right now. I'll call. Is that the same number? The 601? Okay, I'll go ahead and give them a call back. Hey, man, this is Officer Hall with the Warner Robins Police Yeah, call. if you take about three more steps into the yard, you're, hey, you're okay. So the reason... So basically, we got dispatched out to the scene. We're seven juniors. Oh, this must be the supervisor. Woohoo! Right? When we got out here, we saw your son matching with with multiple people matching descriptions of people who had already began to flee the home while we were dispatched out here. So we got out with your son. We're just going to collect his information, and we need somebody of a guardian consent or yourself to come out here and take him out. Okay? So that way we know we're really going to be safe here. Don't come in the yard. All right, Don't come in the yard. Go ahead and put your hands on your back. You gotta arrest me on private property for freedom of speech. Is that right? No, he's not in trouble, but just because you know, you're arrest me on private property for freedom of speech. For well, minute, you can absolutely record, and so I told you that. To to uh, so when you kept interjecting yourself call. and causing yeah. me and my partner to have to turn and talk to you. Yeah. And just like that, these officers violate this man's First Amendment right to freedom of speech. I'm assuming they arrested him for the penal code I stated earlier, because there's not another code applicable. Hell, that code is not even applicable in the situation. And what makes this even worse is that the supervisor was the one that gave the green light. If police can't do their jobs without being distracted by a few words, then they need to put down their badge and gun. This is what you call feelings enforcement, folks. They don't like words, so they get together, conspire, and come up with a bogus penal code that they can arrest you for. Not once did this man falter or even back down, even when they came onto his property and unlawfully arrested him. For those bootlickers that think obstruction can be verbal, then I would advise you to go read the First Amendment of the Constitution and highlight the part where it says, Congress shall make no law prohibiting the freedom of speech, religion, press, assembly, or redress of grievances. To my loyal supporters, I ask that you all head on over to Joe Rivera's channel, subscribe, and let him know Sam Joaquin Jr. sent you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching.